Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the three most famous censored cards in Magic the Gathering. Uh, we will begin with the most famous, Keeper of the Mind. Keeper of the Mind, its entire artwork had to be changed because, as I'll show you in the next image, it was deemed uh, sexually offensive. And the positioning as well as the way that she's standing had to be completely altered. So she's standing up in this picture. In the original picture, she is kind of hunched down. Now, they made a funny picture of unglued referencing the original artwork. And unfortunately, there's not a higher resolution of it out online. And it would be kind of a nice piece to own. So this is the original artwork. You can see why Wizards of the Coast may have found it distasteful. And you can see that the hand positioning is also a little off. Um, we obviously can see that her hand is in the full picture, the, the card picture. Here it's, you know, next, like they had to not just cut the picture uh, to make sure they had to completely alter what the picture looked like. Now, this is the first time I heard of a card being censured in this way for this reason, but it is the, not the last time. So Keeper of the Mind was a very famous example of it. The next example is a Planeswalker, and the Planeswalker is Nyssa. So these are two images of what Nyssa would have looked like. She would have looked like what the left. So the left is more sexually suggestive than the right. The right is more of a covered up and they made this choice because they made the choice. At the end of the day, same image, same artist, but they just covered up her breast, which is probably, you know, for little kids probably makes a lot of sense to me. But the most offensive thing is actually not by, not by a Magic the Gathering artist but for a Grand Prix. So Grand Prix are run by Wizards of the Coast. And this particular play mat was made for Grand Prix Indianapolis in 2012. It was deemed way too offensive. And to my knowledge, there's not that many of these play mats in existence if, cause they had to recant it and say, oh, well, hey, you know, we can't have this play mat be given out for a official Magic the Gathering tournament. So leave me a comment below if there are examples I've missed, but those are the three most famous examples. Uh, keep in mind, Nyssa, and then this very, very uh, provocative, if you will, playmat. Do you think it was a right decision? Do you think it was a wrong decision? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? How would you have handled it? Anyway, bye guys.